Before you begin repairing stone chips, check where the damage occurred. The damage must not be within the driver's field of vision, needs to be at least 10 centimeters away from the edge of the windscreen, and may have a maximum size of 20 millimeters. The case with the repair set contains all of the necessary tools, resins, and polishes. Begin the work with the stone chip opener. Use this to carefully remove the glass splinters from the impact crater. Ensure that you do not unnecessarily enlarge the damaged area. Take out the cleaning cloth included in the delivery. Clean the windscreen thoroughly. Alternatively, you can use a clean cloth and glass cleaner. Never spray the cleaner directly onto the damaged area. Attach the inspection mirror to the interior of the windscreen so that you can see the rest of the work better. Now it's time to use the tool holder. Coat the suction cup with vacuum gel. This allows you to move the tool holder on the front windscreen. Position the bore in the center above the damaged area. Correct the position of the tool holder if necessary. When everything is in position, move the lever. Open the package of repair resin and remove the content. Screw the piston out of the cylinder approximately 5 mm. Fill the repair resin without any bubbles. Do not carry out the following steps in the sun, otherwise the resin may dry too quickly. Screw the injector into the tool holder until it is firmly positioned against the front windscreen. The center point of the seal must be in the center of the damaged area. After a short period of time, carefully screw out the injector. While doing so, apply pressure to the piston. During the vacuum phase, the air is drawn out of the damaged area. Repeat this process until a damaged area is clear and without any enclosed air bubbles. Wait several minutes between each pressure and vacuum phase. Once the stone chip has been repaired, remove the holder from the front windscreen. Carefully pat any excess resin from the windscreen. Unscrew the piston from the tool holder and protect it with this cap. Remove the vacuum gel from the suction cup. Open the package with the finisher resin. Also take a piece of hardening film with you to the vehicle. Apply a drop of finisher resin to the repair area and place the hardening film over it. The finisher resin must not contain any bubbles. Because you are working with a UV lamp, protect your eyes using the UV protective goggles included. Position the lamp directly over the damaged area. Switch it on. The hardening process takes 10 minutes. After you've removed the lamp, 
Remove any excess resin with the scraper. Important. Hold the scraper at a 90 degree angle to the windscreen. Otherwise the finisher resin is scraped out of the damaged area. Open the package and remove the microfiber cloth. Apply some polish to the cloth. Polish the repair area with gentle pressure until the matte areas are no longer visible. Remove the inspection mirror. Last of all, clean the windscreen thoroughly. Now the job is complete. The repaired area is almost invisible.